Welcome to GitHead. We're going to show you how to set up your repositories. This is one of the first screens you'll see. It's called the Repository Chooser, and you have a number of options available. One of the easiest ways to begin is by adding a remote account. I'll click on GitHub and enter my credentials. This icon symbolizes a repo that exists in the cloud but hasn't been cloned locally yet. I'll select the repo, click on clone. I can change the protocol or the URL. Just be sure that this is the name and the directory where you want the repository to be cloned to. You can double check that here. That looks great. I'll select clone. And we're in. Here's the commit list, a list of files, and the hunks that have been modified. Let's go back to the repository chooser. Come up here to the main menu bar, and we can see that the shortcut for the repository chooser is Control shift o That'll vary depending on your operating system, so make sure you find it in the menus first. Control shift o GitHead has support for multiple remote accounts, so if you want to add another one, just click on the plus sign. Select your host and enter your credentials. If you want to minimize a remote account, just click on the collapse indicator. Or if you want to remove a remote account, select it and click on the minus sign. You may have noticed this list on the left of your most recent local repositories. If the repo you're looking for isn't in this list, click on the plus sign to add another one. Let's start with clone repository. You'll need to paste in a URL. I'll click on Next. The name of this repository is 7-Zip. I'm going to clone that to my user directory. That looks great. I'll select Clone. And now we can see that the 7-zip repository has been opened up in a new tab, and I can quickly switch back and forth to Battleship by selecting here. Or if I want to get rid of Battleship, I can just click on the X. Let's go back to the repository chooser. Control shift o And we can see the 7-zip repository as well as Battleship. Now let's say we have a repository somewhere on our machine, and we just want to open it up inside of GitHead. I'll click on Open Existing Repository. I'll find my repo, and I'll select the folder. Here we can see that GitAhead has opened the Atom repository on the master branch, which happens to be 57 commits behind our upstream. Let's go back to the repository chooser one last time. Control shift o This time, let's create something from scratch. A project that will be born inside of GitHead. I'll select Initialize New Repository. I'll give it a name. I'll create this inside of my users directory. That looks great. I'll click on Initialize. And now we have an empty Git repository. If your files already exist, you can just drag and drop them inside of GitHead. Oh, we don't want this shortcut, so let's go ahead and discard it. I'll remove the file, and it's gone. If I want to add a new file, I can just click on this button, or I can go up to the main menu, click File, New File, and our editor opens up. I'm going to type echo hello world. I'll save that and give it a name, main.batch. And you can see that GitAhead has support for syntax highlighting. All right, we'll close the editor. Now it's time to make a commit. We'll come over here to the file list and stage it by clicking on the checkbox. GitAhead has pre-populated a commit message for us, and you can customize this how you like. I'll just go ahead and click commit. Success. We've created our first commit on a branch called master. But this branch only exists on our machine. 
Now we want to push this branch somewhere else. In Git Ahead, we can quickly push a branch to any arbitrary location by going up to the main menu and selecting Remote and clicking on Push To or using the shortcut Control Shift P. But we have a problem here. Since we created this repository from scratch, we don't have a remote to select from. Let's back up a couple steps and create a remote. Come up here to the main menu bar, select Remote, Configure Remotes. I'll click on the plus sign. I'll give this a name. And now we need to give this remote a location. This is something that you would have had to set up in advance, but I'll walk you through how to create one on GitHub. Here's GitHub. I'll click on New Repository. I'll give it a name. I'll scroll down and click Create Repository. And here we have the link we need. I'll click Copy. I'll paste this inside of Git Ahead. Add Remote. There we go. Now we, when we go back to Remote, push to, you can see that we have origin in the list. I'll leave this on master branch by default, and I could also tick this box to set the upstream now, but I'll just leave it how it is and go ahead and push. You can bring up the log and get ahead by clicking on this button. And here we can see that get ahead was successfully able to push master to origin. We might be done. Let's see what happens when we try and pull. Uh oh. There was an error. GitHead is trying to tell us that the current branch master has no upstream branch. Let me show you how to fix that. Go up to the main menu bar, click on branch, configure branches. And this makes sense. The master branch has no upstream set. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. I personally like to tick this box as well, rebase, so that when I pull, it performs a rebase by default. Everything is up to date. That concludes this quick start tutorial on how to set up your Git Ahead repositories.